Hello and welcome to Super Mario RPG. Uh, wait, why is this not working? Ah, there we go. Name this girl. She's only human in a world of monsters. So yeah, we're gonna keep her Maria. Super Maria. Thanks for your cooperation. There's only one more thing I have to ask you actually. Is that okay? No. I understand some people crack under pressure. And that's okay. We can wait for you to calm down. I don't know what's going on. Are you feeling better now? Good. Please name this fairy. Zari. I'm just gonna keep the normal names just for to make everything easier. Zari. Just in case you were wondering, you navigate around the world using the arrow keys. Also, side note, you may want to use the X and Z, X, Z and X buttons to interact with the world. The video game you're about to play is also c features combat. If you've never played an RPG before, I recommend playing something else. You are now ready to play Super Maria RPG. Enjoy. Okay, great. This game is so loud, by the way. <laughs> Alright, Maria. Get it together. Just think about it for a second. Surely there's a way to work this out. It's just one month of rent. Not a huge deal. Oh, she's late in rent. I'm so screwed. No, no, no. It's gonna be fine. I've got a solution for this. I've got it. All I gotta do is... Stop talking to myself and go find a dog, an odd job. I'm sure I can pull a favor from someone in town. Maria ri writes her objectives in a journal. You decide anytime if you forget what you're supposed to be doing. How do we reach the journal? Okay, X is... Actually, we cannot see the journal from here. Skills. Okay. This is... I don't think there's anything in that will help me find a job. This is where I keep my food, but I'm not hungry right now. That's a bookshelf. Okay, let's just get out. Hey, can, can you give me a job? This is Samuel Town, but you probably already knew that since you live here after all. Neighbor's house, okay. Oh, hello, Maria. How are you doing today? I need some... <laughs> I need some money to give me all your money. Just fine. Oh, that's good to hear. I'm glad you're doing well and don't need any help whatsoever. Uh, to give us some, Maria. Well, fuck you. That's pamphlet of... On the importance of... Cerebus. Whatever. Give me money. Let's just Next thing let's just say we need money. What is this? Oh hail the almighty Cerebus! He will save us from all danger and pain. Okay. Dudler house. Okay. Ooh, a time, a clock. Howdy Potter! Looks like you're in a hurry to do something or other. Must be time to pay rent, I reckon. Yeah, you call it. Do you have any idea where I can get some easy money? Take a look across the street in that the town hall. I heard talk. I heard talk that there was a weird fairy spotted around those parts. They might pay you to get rid of it or something. You never know. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Dudley. You're a good turtle. Stay safe out there. You yeah, hear? Yeah. Okay, now let's go to Town Hall, which I'm guessing is this thing. Town Hall. Yay. I'm not gonna get taken away by the likes of you, Mouse Breed. Oh, that's a uh, Zeri. What's going on here? I was just here minding my own business, talking about how we need to dethrone King Zeribus. There she goes again. What she's saying is high treason. Let's kill her 
and Ita. I hate fairies, they are the worst. I use my magic to separate the skin from your bones. I will show you no mercy. Hey, let's not be hasty. How about we work something out? I'll escort the fairy out of town, and you guys can excuse my rent for this month. That seems like a bad deal. Why don't we just eat her instead? She could be dangerous. What if you eat her and she tears you from the inside out? The human is right. Let me go and I'll give her what and give her what she asks for. Fools. Alright, alright. Just get this dangerous vagabond out of town quickly. Your rent will be excused just this once. Howdy human. Can you escort me out of this crap heap town? My name is Zari. It's nice to meet you. Sorry, join the party. Yay. Now let's get the fuck out of here before they kill me. Okay. Alright, little fairy. It's time to get out of here. Fly on back home now. I can't fly back home. Why not? I didn't want to tell you this in front of the other guards because I didn't want to let them see me cry. My home was destroyed by Zeribus. I used to live in a beautiful forest filled with fairies like me. We lived in a peaceful life as a community until Zeribus ordered one of his death squads to destroy us. The fairy community didn't stand a chance, but I managed to make it out alive. I might be the only fairy left. Just like I'm the only human in this world. Would the king really do something like that? That's horrible. This anything I could do to help you, Zari? You know, there's a place right up the way that I'd love to go to. It's a place of worship for fairies. I wanted to go there for a while, but if I travel alone, I'd surely get killed by monsters. Can you escort me? Monsters around here are really nice, though. They don't attack others usually. They hate me because I'm a fairy. All the monsters despise us as, as fairies for some reason. It's really sad. Oh, I understand if you wanted to abandon me. I'm just a lowly fairy. After all, I guess I'll just be on my way to die then. Wait, I'll go with you. I don't want to leave you alone to die. I need you to come around. Let's go. Come on. The place of worship is down this road and then to the east. Okay. Down this road. Oh. Okay. This way. Start to see where we're going. Are you sure this is it's safe around here? It's a fine. Just keep going. No, just. Kidding. Why would I give her a sick path? Sounding voice. Are you sure it's, this is okay? I don't feel good about this. I said keep going. We're almost there. Hey, don't push me. Alright, just a little further. Where this magical arrow just magically is pointing somewhere. I will just go there. Just. Oh god. I never knew about this part of the forest. Is this your sacred place? Yes, it is! Yes, I finally done it! I finally made it! Yes! You seem awfully excited. Go on and read those labs. Make sure you do it out loud too. Listen. I took you all the way back here. Isn't that enough? Come on! Come on! Come on! Do it already! Alright, alright, fine! I'll read this lab. Just shut up. So you want me to read this out loud? That's pretty specific. Just read it. Come on! Come on! Jeez, you're a really pushy lady. Fine. It's pretty faded, but I'll think I s it says something like... Oath to the Bay. I pledge my alliance to the Fae, the true rulers of this island, of this land, oh gosh, shoved into the darkness by Zeribus and his filthy clan. He may murder us and cast us out, but our voice cannot be silenced. Lest he succumb to our will, we'll take him down with violence. And now that you're made that earth, that oath, earth, hey. What's all that supposed to mean? I know you hate Cerebus and all, but that sounded pretty... Oh, where did that come from? Oh, go open it, human. I command you to! 
Oh, now is she like the new high queen of mine? You open the box, and a foul odor wafts out of it. Inside the surprising deep box is a sinister looking staff. Yes, that's it. The prophecy was right all along. Prophecy. When the last human and the last fairy band together, and the oath has been cast, the fae will rise again. Rise again? Just take the staff, goddammit. I'll grant you at amazing powers. Together, we'll be able to take down King Cerebus and stop his reign for forever. Fairy Sari and Super... Oh god. And Super Maria! I forgot the name of the, <laughs> name of the main character. This sounds really fishy. Why don't you just take the staff? I'm not nearly strong enough to lug that thing around. Come on! We've got places to be. Do you want to sit idly by and watch the world crumble around you and struggle each month to pay to make rent? Or do you want to get out and make a difference and become Super Mario? Oh my. You equipped the Rod of Ruin. Okay. The power of the rod is amazing. It even lit up the huge forest. Now that you have the staff, you will be able to learn amazing magical abilities. And it only comes with a teeny drawback. Well, monsters will attack you now. But that's fine. You can use them to grow stronger. But I don't want to kill wild monsters. You'll be amazed at what you can do when, when you've got your feet on the flame. Come on, we'll need to start gathering the orbs of power. There are seven orbs. We actually call them Dragon Balls. Orbs. I feel like I've heard this summer before. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z. Zerubus, like all evil kings, has spread powerful objects around the world in the possession of powerful boss monsters. Okay. There are th there's three orbs. We gotta get them before we can get his into his sealed room of solitude. So let's get a move on. Okay. Oh my! Oh my god, it's so loud. Looks like we got company. Just follow my lead. And, and magic! I got nothing! God, how'd they go back? Squishy! Yeah, well, let's attack some squishy. And you do magic. A small pack on the cheek restores the HP to an ally or the user. Smooch, smooch! Sprinkles on annoying fairy dust deal a small bit of magical damage to one foe. Squishy. Yeah, high five! Those guys were easy. Okay, so I'm surprised Zari, which already knows magic, starts at level 1. Not even like level 2, since she's actually used to it because of flying before. I'll take that. Okay, she stole my money. Hey, good job! Looks like you're a natural one killer! Ha 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 Okay, let's just... Come on. Who's this guy now? Scully, attack. Scully also... <laughs> Scully. Magic, just, uh, fairy dust. 25. Okay, that's, uh, attack. Maria, sorry. Just, yeah. At least we're safe. Might as well not let this go to waste. Okay, we do like a group talk. Deciding who keeps the money. I think they're actually strategically positioned. Just attack. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. God. Okay, there we go. They didn't stand a chance. Level up. I feel like I'm getting stronger. Now I'm even better than before. Bring me that booty. Okay, so now Maria has us uh, magic. We just magic. There we go. First orb thing. The location of the first orb is south, is to the south. But first, we may want to go t into our pretty own town and collect some goods. Hey, I like that town. But alright, that's a good idea. If we get tired we and need to go to restore health and whatnot, we could just take a nap on my bed. Let's escape. 
this will let you run away if you want to check it out like that. Okay, let's just go to town, take a nap, to restore Zari's uh, stamina. This is not my bad. Ah. There we go. Yeah, take a nap. You feel better. That's cool. Wait, let's have everything. Yeah, everything is back to normal. Uh, where? Shopping location. Can I just. Oh, no. What you buying? Buy monster juice. We're pretty clever. 30 HP. Magica. Skirt. How much money? We have 17. Agility. One defense. Agility. Attack and mat. What was mat? I don't know. What is this? I'm gonna go with agility. With those three leg pants. Uh, one, one. And I'll just get, um. This. Yeah. Uh, let me just equipment. I'll equip it to Maria. Optimize. I love optimize. Okay, so now let's go south to get the first Orby thingy. But actually, that's all the time we have for today. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.